Hey Gemini. So I'm here to do the generals uh, for yourselves, my fellow Gem Gems. I'm a double Gemini. Gemini Sun, Gemini Rising. Um, so these will be extended readings as usual. So if you're watching me on Instagram, the link is in my bio. So if you click the Vimeo link, head down towards November's generals um, and it'll be there. Um, if you're watching me on YouTube, hit that little V sign, let it drop down the box and you can get my social media links, the link to the extended, the link to my website. Also, I have collaborated with Soul Tribe Media to uh, bring a lunar calendar for next year's uh, lunar cycles, full moons, new moons, etc. Uh, so if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description box for that also on my YouTube videos. I will be sharing on Facebook as well. So I'm going to dive straight in. I'm not going to nag for long because I'm going to get straight in and get these done for yourselves. So generals for Gemini for the last part of November. Life experience, which is the tower, mod, the tower card. A significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. It's time to spread your wings. And this totally falls, falls in line. Um, so I'm doing these readings actually on the Taurus full moon, the uh, lunar eclipse. And it is a time of major releasing anything that no longer serves you um sometimes we have no power of them things because it can be like karmic contracts that type of thing so it is the tower card and sometimes though the tower card can be a powerful card as in like to use that power of, of the tower card um sometimes we have to be the tower sometimes we have to you know allow things to crumble in order to kind of rebuild from that and i feel like that's what is going on for a lot of gemini's at the moment so powerful revelations it could be epiphany moments you know it's like that ding light bulbs on time to spread your wings it's time to expand so what's crossing that energy is the night of fire could be dealing with fire sign sagittarius leo aries um a sudden event that needs immediate attention times of the essence think things through carefully but the night of fire can be player energy um it can be flighty energy it can be people that are in and out of your life so you then that might be the tower moment uh the tower card so it could be people that you maybe you've overly given in the past um allow people to just come back and forward in your energy and it's time to kind of stop that if this is your energy though and you've not been fully present in what you've been doing your goals your achievements it's time to look at that it's time to let go of that flighty energy whether it be another person or yourself you know if you're going to be in it be in it you know it's that's what i'm kind of getting it's flighty energy so why is this coming around for gemini now the queen of water passes cancer scorpio energy but the queen of water is it's it's your empath it's your empath side it's uh your loving side relationships develop to a new level trust your intuition care for yourself and others and i feel like this is about caring for your emotional self so maybe there is people that have been like flatter maybe you are quite empathic and you kind of draw in these types of people um but when you do draw those types of people in it's positive and it's negative so the positive part of it is your light is shining so bright that people are resonating towards you when they need to heal the negative is it can drain you dry when you're constantly trying to fix everybody else's issues um I feel like emotional boundaries are coming up, especially with this uh, lunar cycle that's going on at present with the full moon. So in the recent past, we've got the four of Earth. So being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate, giving to those less fortunate. You know, but I feel like you've been giving your energy. The four of Earth can be the lack card as well. I know the four of cups is as well. Um, Things could have been tight with finances in the past, that type of thing. Maybe you've kind of realised if you've had a hard time, who the true people actually are because it's almost like, well, I'm there for everybody all the time. Where where are these people for me when I'm in this place? So maybe you, that's the tower moment. Maybe you're seeing things with fresh eyes, which is making the tower a positive because you're seeing, you know, what is what is going on and who the true people are around you. So at present, we've got the chariot, sign of cancer. 
an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. Again, I feel like people are seeing your growth. I feel like you are growing. The chariot is about positive movement forward. So I do feel like the tower card is a positive. It's happening for a positive reading. It, reading Reason. It's happening for you to move forward. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a tickly cough today. So, near future, we have the strength card. Sign of Leo, magic number 11, manifestation. Great inner strength, least harsh judgment, forgiveness and compassion. I feel like, and I did mention this in the Aquarius reading, so you may have Aquarius in your chart, or it could be a theme going through the air signs. Forgive yourself for being in situations for, t for longer than you should have. Forgive yourself for giving too much of yourself um, to other people's situations or to situations in general. Um, you could be going towards a Leo, dealing with a Leo. I've got Cancer and Leo. I've got a lot of water and uh, fire, actually. But it's about releasing the harsh judgments. Maybe give yourself a break. Maybe you're being a bit harsh on yourself as well. So your power is the King of Fire. So the King of Fire coming out as your power, you may have fire in your chart, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. But <coughs> focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. The King of Fire is very motivational. He's very ambitious. So your power is to go forward for you. What do you want in your life? You know, what am I releasing in order to make space for what am I going for? So I feel like you've got like goals on your mind and you're going towards goals. <coughs> Outside influence, so we've got two. The six of air, things are looking up the end of a difficult situation and the sun, happy times. Happy outcomes, brilliant new ideas that lead to success, have confidence in yourself. So maybe do have a little bit, I feel like you do need like a confidence boost. Someone could have knocked your confidence, you, you could have knocked your confidence, you know, certain situations in your life could be knocking your confidence at the moment. But the six of air, it's about going from storm waters to smoother waters, but if you look at the card, that horse is actually leaving, is actually leaving certain people behind. I don't know why I've just changed colour, I feel like I've just changed colour. In order to grow, you, sometimes we have to release, we have to release people. Hopes or fear position, the night of air. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. There is creative solutions. So I feel like, again, like the Aquarius reading, like you are willing now to take the action in order to put boundaries into place, to leave certain situations, to go for what you want. It's all about going for what you want, I feel. There is creative solutions. And the outcome is the turn of air. The end of a difficult situation. Embrace the changes and expect things to get better now. Recovery from addiction. But... Recovery, I feel like it's more recovering from how you've dealt with things in the past. Maybe you've been a people pleaser. Uh, maybe you've been putting too much energy into other people rather than yourself. And you're realising that within that town moment, that's what it's telling you. It's drained you. So let's get some clarity on this reading. And then in the extended, I'll be digging deeper as to what's actually gone on in all areas and what's coming in. So Gemini november extended clarify for me so this tower moment this significant life event ten of cups in reverse so emotionally upside down things that you thought were meant for you realizing that it's not meant for you they could have been breakups it could have been a need to actually relocate why am i getting relocate i don't know but i'm getting it the king of cups Passes Cancer Scorpio NJ, but the King of Cups is very caring, very emotionally um, available. So you could be going towards emotionally available people. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, Passes Cancer Scorpio. You could be going towards a water sign. And we've got the Moon, Passes. So the Moon is about illusions. Sometimes we've got to see through the illusions, take the rose tinted glasses off. Um, and I feel like that's what you're doing, taking the rose tinted glasses off. But in that, it's freeing yourself. It's all air up this side. So it's freeing yourself. The rose tinted glasses are off. You know, you're releasing the fears that have been holding you back. You're releasing the fear, you know, you're releasing that need to stay with certain people or in group circles, that type of thing, that do hold you back. So I feel like you're finding your true voice, your throat, your throat chakra. So the Queen of Water, as to why it's coming around. <sighs> Seven of Pentacles, because 
your pa patience is virtue and it's going to pay off. And I feel like you've had to really be patient. I feel like the queen of water is you. I feel like this is your like, empath energy. I feel like um, the seeds have been sown for this for quite a while. But patience is virtue and it's, well, it's going to pay off. You've had to be patient. Maybe you've had to bite your tongue for a while. We've got the page of cups. So there is offers coming in. There's new things coming in for you as, as long as you release the past. So we've got the queen of cups again. So intuitively, you know, there could be an offer coming in from a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, we are in Scorpio season still while I make these videos. There could be offers coming in now, but I feel like it's more universal offers. You know, if you leave the past behind, I'll lead you towards something better. The four of earth. Love's in reverse. Gemini in reverse. So feeling like you had no options, feeling like you were stuck. And that's why I wanted to say, you know, where were these people? The people that you save, the people that ring you when they're in trouble. Where where are they when you were in this situation? The eight of swords. All stuck up in your head, feeling stuck, feeling stuck in a rut, feeling anxious, you know, feeling like your hands are tired and you had nowhere to go, like you didn't have any backup or, you know. I'm not saying everybody, because I do feel like you've had good people around you as well. So at present, we've got the chariot. The divine is saying you deserve a peaceful life. You deserve true love. You de you deserve a life that you love. You know, so past this cancer, there's a lot of water. You could have water in your chart, though. And the chariot, on top of the chariot. Gemini, positive movement forward. You, you, you are in the driver's seat of your life right now. So the strength card going forward... <laughs> the strength card <laughs> all your cards are doubling you've you've managed to you or you are managing you could go into towards leo but i feel like you've managed to um tame that fight or flight you are in full control you are in the driver's seat you know i love it your power the king of fire more like an empowerment reading king of pentacles Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Joe do have the Taurus full moon. It's about bettering yourself. It's about expansion. It's about who you can trust. It's about being safe and secure. Your power is to be motivated. It's to go and achieve the goals that you're setting yourself and be motivated in your achievements. The outside influence is the sun. There could be options in love, but I am going to venture into that in the extended. The sun brings in teamwork makes the dream work. It's bringing in your circle is completely changing or it's already started to and you're realising why now I'm getting all excited for you. Five of swords in reverse. You're coming away from controlling people, from the people who are kind of bullied, people who you feel uh, you can't speak your own opinions about things because they might knock you down. Uh, the outside influence is the ten of air, the end of that situation. And the two of cups, you could definitely be going towards somebody a new collaboration with somebody could be a water sign could be a fire sign and the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is spinning in your favor gemini i can't wait to get into the extended for this one so if this is where i'll leave you i'll leave you with love and light and if i'm meeting you on the extended i'll be over there now bye